everyone, this is me, Dusty Circuit, here, and today I just thought I might make uh, this kind of, uh, well, since I've kind of been making these videos where I'm trying to just talk, where I talk about changes or, or, or slash upgrades that, I, that I've made to my computer and stuff, I've... Kind of, kind of been putting this one off because I just it really, I really haven't made that many up changes to my computer since the last video, where which I believe to recap was me talking about my 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 experience using with Windows 11, which uh, even still today is uh going pretty good, but uh. Really all that's changed since then is, uh, I've upgraded the RAM, I believe, uh, since, like, I've, basically since I've replaced, I've upgraded the motherboard and the CPU and my computer, I've just had, I, I got, I got a 32 gig, uh, that their 32 gig kit of the of a Corsair uh it's Corsair Ventions RG or RGB Pro and I basically just I basically just got another I got I got this I bought the same kit again so that I can populate the other RAM slots so uh basically I upgraded from 32 gigs to 64 gigs of RAM. I mean, not that I don't that I got like, I I I actually pro probably don't need that this much, but in many cases it has uh, come in handy because uh, when I'm when I multitask, uh, Minecraft, uh, my web, my, my my web browser, and uh, my video editor, especially, uh, use a lot of RAM, and uh, or and let's just say on some occasions I have actually uh, seen my mem my my memory usage get to like fifty percent. Which which would mean that if I was still having th still using thirty two gigs of RAM, I I, I might be I m might run into some problems. But I'm kind of glad I did this upgrade. It's uh, going to make my computer last longer, as uh, because maybe as things get more demanding in the future I'll have uh, room to I'll have room to grow and but with really my really my thought behind this was well like if I if I'm multitasking like like the RAM becomes the limitation before my CPU does because I have a I have a Ryzen a twelve core Ryzen nine CPU and and when that actually after I upgraded the RAM I I I basically what I I did I did this really heavy multitasking test I I I, I think I opened uh. Probably like five Minecraft instances, uh, Fortnite, and uh, Satisfactory all at the same time. And my computer was actually handling that surprisingly well. Like, I mean, it probably wasn't as responsive as it normally is, but considering that much, considering that load, that that was putting on my computer, it was it was handling it pretty well. And the next thing, the next thing that I upgraded was uh, the SSD. So, so really, since I've uh, 
since I upgraded from the FX, uh, the, the AMD FX uh, computer to the my first Ryzen computer, the, the, the 2600, uh, I've been using uh, these two uh, one terabyte uh, Western Digital uh, SN550 uh, NVMe SSDs. Which, uh, which really have been serving me pretty well. I mean, even though they're not the fastest SSD, even though they're not the fastest NVMe SSD, they've actually been serving me pretty well. And my thought process behind getting two of those as opposed to one, uh, two terabyte SSD is, uh, is it so it would allow me to video also video edit off of an SSD as well, and uh, I'd use uh, I I and then I then I'd keep all my games, uh like like my on all my Steam and my Epic Games library on one SSD, and then all of my my YouTube footage on uh, a second SSD. Though. Though it kind of became uh, apparent to me that a single one terabyte SSD was not going to be enough to hold both my game libraries, so I uh, I ended up I think I think I ended up putting my Steam library on the the second SSD that I originally was intending to just use for to just use for recording footage, like and, and uh, my and my Epic Games library on uh, my my main my primary S my my first SSD like 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 the C drive. And how I was intending to use the the the, the second SSD or the D drive is. Uh, when I'm recording with OBS, uh, that 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 uh, my 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 footage would be recorded to would be recorded to the second SSD, which uh, but would also keep that that load off of uh, my main SSD. And uh, like 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 while I'm playing a game. But it, it kind of became apparent to me that just a, a single one terabyte SSD is not going to be quite big enough to hold all that stuff. So I had to move one of my game libraries onto the on 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 onto the, the the second SSD and. I also ended up moving some other files. Onto the second SSD, I guess, just because it's more convenient for me to access them there as opposed to having to go through several folders, like a, like a, just to, like just to access those files. The, and, uh, but for a while, I just, uh, Basically, my storage. I just had those two SSDs and uh, my my four terabyte uh, hard drive. And though, then really, the only reason I have that hard drive is is just as a place to store my extra uh, my extra uh, YouTube footage. Though. It's become kind of apparent to me that four terabytes is really only big enough for uh, about two years worth of my regular YouTube uploads. Like I have to, I have to empty that thing like about every two years or so. So anyway. So the only so the only reason I was 
Abe was able to upgrade this was uh, uh, uh was a, one of was one of my skate friends actually was nice enough to uh, one of my skate friends decided to give me uh, an, an Amazon uh, gift card for for I think it was for last Christmas and it wasn't it wasn't enough money to fully cover. The, the purchase of this SSD, but it, it did it did significantly reduce the price of uh, the purchase for me. And uh, so so I was able to using that money and some of my own money, I was able to buy a uh, a four terabyte SSD, and I think I would have opted for the t the team group MP. 34 just because it was it was on it was on a pretty good uh discount at the time and it, it had uh it had a DRAM buffer which is which I've heard uh re really speeds up SSD uh write performance. So I haven't really noticed that much of a difference, that that much of a speed difference, just in day-to-day -day use, largely because, largely because our internet speeds really haven't, really, really aren't all that fast, and uh, like, so whenever I'm updating a game. My like the SSD actually wasn't not the limiting factor. It was more our, our internet speed. But I'm still glad I upgrade. I'm still glad I did this upgrade because uh, it's like like have like having more like having more storage space always is it's, it's always an, a nice thing, and. Basically, I was able to move my my whole Steam library onto like, I'm on uh, 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 onto onto the C drive now, and I'm 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 able to have all of my games on one SSD and still have more than enough room to spare. Like I just checked, uh, I just looked at, uh, like I, I just, I just looked at it right, right as I'm making this video, and I have, uh, I'm only using, uh, I'm, like I'm, I'm using 25 percent of the, of the space on that SSD, which uh, means I have quite a, quite a bit of room to grow. I think I still have two more ter, about two terabytes left of storage left on that. Though... Though I act... Though, 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 though I actually uh, go out of my way to keep my SSDs, to make sure my SSDs don't get full, because... Uh, not a lot of people seem to know this, but the SSD perf SSDs perform at their best at, uh, I believe, anywhere from zero to uh, eighty percent of their capacity uh, being filled. And but but once you go over eighty percent, the uh, that the, their speed starts to drop off. And but not only their speed starts to drop off, but also, uh, but, but also their longevity as well. And, 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 uh, and I hear this, I, I got the, I've, I've, I've heard this, this recommendation mainly from a, uh, for, from, from a, from a tech YouTuber that I watch that that has years of experience working with computers. And, uh, 
so this is like this is not coming from some random internet article this is from this is from a youtuber that has lots of but has years of experience with computers so uh so basically i am uh making sure that my ssds don't get full and uh and so far i've never really had like the only ssd i've had to really constantly empty files off of is my is my is my second ssd only because i'm uh only because that's where i'm recording my youtube footage to and every so often i'm transferring those files to uh the hard drive and whenever the hard drive gets full, I empty the hard drive. But other than that, I, I haven't, I have not really had, uh, I've been pretty, I've been pretty fortunate when it comes to uh, storage space on my computer. Oh, uh, it just so happens that whenever I start to outgrow my storage space, I am fortunate enough to be able to buy, to buy more storage space. But, but there will be for that. But as for now, I, there's really, uh, unless, unless in the next few coming years, larger SS, even SSDs larger than four terabytes, uh, start to come down to reasonable prices, I don't really see the need for upgrading my storage more beyond this unless uh unless i can unless i can get a really good deal on another four terabyte ssd to to, to up to upgrade my other one terabyte ssd though maybe at some point in the future i might upgrade my hard drive perhaps to an eight gigabyte or or, or an eight an eight, uh, eight gigabyte wow an eight, eight terabytes to uh, the, the, the to uh maybe maybe an eight terabyte to maybe uh a sixteen terabyte or what's well, just what like, depending on the the price of uh of, to, 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 depending on the the price of hard drives in the future. But really, apart from maybe a graphics card upgrade, I'm I'm I, I'm pretty set as opposed to uh, I'm pretty set as far as PC hardware is concerned. And maybe maybe sometime in the future I might could use uh, another platform upgrade, but that's uh, that that that's for the future. And really, uh, well, before I end off this video, I'm going to talk about, uh, CPU, uh, undervolting, which has been a thing, which has been a thing that, that I've kind of been wondering if I should do or not, if I should do or not ever since, uh, Ever since I got this, uh, ever since I got my, 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 my CPU and uh, upgrade, like ever since I got my, my Ryzen 9 CPU and my new motherboard, uh, and I mean, really it's just to reduce temperatures and power consumption. As it turns out that a lot of, a, a lot of newer com newer heart newer cpus so like a lot of newer computer hardware these days actually is uh i don't want to say overvolted but just like basically set to uh consume a bit more power than is like really necessary largely just to 
I guess it's just to enable maximum performance and be because uh, it, I guess just to ensure uh, every CPU is going to work at the at the at the at the uh, the clock speeds that uh, that a lot of newer CPUs are shipping with these days. And, uh, and it seems like kind of AMD and Intel are in this new, uh, are in this new, uh, arms race, basically, to, like, release the fastest CPUs that they, that they can to, like, outdo one another. And, uh, and to that end, CPUs these days are being, uh, shipped with some pretty ridiculous, uh, some pretty ridiculous uh, TDPs, and uh, and a lot of people have found that just with a little bit of tweaking, you can basically like you can like you can almost cut these the power consumption like in half, uh, like no joke. And, uh, though that, though this mostly applies to, uh, to, to, to the very latest, uh, stuff, like, like the, uh, the, like, like the Ryzen, uh, 7000 series and, uh, the Intel, uh, 12th and 13th gen and 14th gen now. I decided to attempt this with my CPU, but, uh. I'm f I find that it's so 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 I but I find that it's hard to find settings that are stable with without kind of or it's hard to find really settings that don't sacrifice uh, stability though well, by now I've kind of more or less found a setting that uh, is stable, at least at least in terms of the curve optimizer settings. It's uh, it's kind of basically what I have now is uh, I've turned off uh, PBO and uh, I've just I just have the curve optimizer set to negative uh, ten, which isn't really that much different from stock settings, but it's the only settings so far that I've found that's stable. And I'm fairly ha I mean I'm fairly happy with it, but uh this is this is this is kind of where was where where I've been able to find that's stable. But if I still get my computer either blue screening or restarting on me I guess I'm just going to go back to go back to stock settings but so far it hasn't come to that though so, so what I find rather odd about my computer is like I could be like I could be do I could be doing like a uh, a task such as video editing or or video rendering that uh, makes my makes my CPU get to uh, like seventy five or even like seventy eight Celsius or, or or even approaching eighty Celsius and. Uh, and 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 the air that's blowing out of my computer like barely feels that warm where uh which which is it's just kind of weird because uh like was uh one of my friend one of my friends one of my skate friends uh driver tech just recently upgraded their computer to like i think they got like like an i9 uh 13900k and, uh, and, 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 and an RX uh, 7800 XT. And they, they basically claim that their PC is a space heater. Where my, my com I can't exactly say that about my computer. Which is quite, kind of, it's, 
If anything, I kind of find a bit surprising, though. Uh, though I, I, though I guess considering the 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 thermal design power of the of of that CPU compared to mine, I guess it's uh like like we're talking uh a three hundred watt. CPU versus I think like a hundred fifth like like a hundred and five watt CPU though don't though my CPU actually in reality under under certain heavier loads I think it at the power actually is more like uh, 140 150 watts but uh yeah. And may maybe in the future, I might considering moving to uh, an AIO uh, liquid cooler, but for the time being, my Noctua NHD 15S is doing a pretty good job at keeping my CPU cool. And then remember and then at this point I'm basically done uh going over uh upgrades uh computer upgrades and and so as far as future what I do for what I do to my computer in the future is uh really as far as performance really the the only better thing the only other thing I can think of doing is uh a graphics card upgrade because my the 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 RTX 3060 from my understanding actually is kind of mismatched with uh the Ryzen 9 CPU like 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 the Ryzen 9 CPU can actually uh can actually handle more a bit more graphics card I think that I think Somewhere up to uh, maybe maybe RTX thirty eighty or thirty ninety level to performance, and uh, so though so, um though I don't exactly have the money to do something like this right now, so I guess this is gonna have to be for the future but 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 but, but even right now my my the the the, the, the rtx thirty sixty I have actually performs pretty well in most of, in all of my games at uh maybe not at max settings in all of my games but uh at about at, at, I I I'm able to get a uh, hundred FPS at high settings in most of my games with 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 that graphics card. And so really, so really, the only future upgrades I can think of uh, would be maybe graphics card or case. I mean, not that my case isn't uh isn't like sufficient enough for me, but more just as like a way to refresh my computer because uh, Mike, the case I have is rather is quite kind of an older uh model. I think it came out and. I think it's like the I think the design is I think from maybe. 2013, even though I bought it in I think uh, 2020, so it's a so it's a rather old so it's a rather old design of but it uh it 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 does work pretty well. It just means it kind of lacks some of the more modern aesthetics, like it doesn't have a full glass side panel, and it doesn't have the uh. That that cover on the bottom that hides uh, the power supply.
and it maybe doesn't have uh, as much cable routing, uh, as much cable management uh, uh, channels as a, a modern case. So the, the main reason I got this case was I was I wanted like the airflow, like the provisions for fans that a modern case gives you, but I still wanted a couple of five and a quarter inch bays just so because I wanted to use, I still wanted to use my built-in card reader. So. So for my next case, I may uh, I, I I may just opt for an external a, a, a USB card reader, so I can finally uh, move to a modern case. Or oh, when when the time comes that I should do that. And I guess another thing I could improve is cable management because my the cable management in my case isn't really the best, but it does work, and it doesn't, and, and it, like it's not so bad that it blocks my airflow. And so, I guess one thing that isn't helping is me is that card reader actually uses a lot of uh, different cables like it uses two USB uh, two uh, cables uh, the uh, the U a USB 3.0 uh, cable and the, and like this extra power this this extra power like like it uses molex from my from my power supply because it has a uh, like a, a a port for fast USB charging. So I guess most of most of the cable management is kind of made comp more complicated because I have that thing installed. But perhaps maybe in the future I might look I might uh, uh finally move to a more modern case uh. And, 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 even, and, and even though I'm giving that up, I'll, I'll have better cable management. But so far, this what I what I currently have is uh, working pretty well. But I feel like this is a good place to end my video off here. Oh, oh, wait a minute! I have I have one, I have one more thing to talk about. Uh, so, so one day, uh, they, so one day my mom, uh, t just hands me this package that I get in the, that I got in the mail and I would, that, that I was, that I was not expecting. And, uh, and then I open it up and, uh, turns out it was an, it was, it was an Amazon gift. And I never, nobody told me they're giving me a gift. And so I open it up and, uh, it turns out it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a, it's a stream deck, uh, an Elgato, uh, stream deck. And, uh, and, and most specifically, I think it's the, the Mark, uh, two, it's, kind of the standard sized one with, with the 50, with 15 buttons. And to this day, I still don't know who gave who gave me this, but I'm come I'm glad they did. And uh, it's something I never thought I would need, but now that I have it, it's it 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 is it is kind of come in handy and. Uh, I haven't really had to use it really for streaming per se, which I, I actually don't, I don't really do all that much live streaming, but when the time comes that I do, I can, uh, it's, uh, something I can definitely make use of, though, though I, though I, though I do have, I think I have said, I have, I do use it for other things, though. So, like I use it to, 
I used to just start OBS and to switch scenes and to toggle my recording and uh, also to mute my mic and I also, uh, well, because Evan joked about this, I, I, I actually set up a, uh, like, a, like a Minecraft bell sound effect, like, basically, like, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's just, like, I just found, I just, basically, I just recorded, uh, I think I would have recorded it myself, actually, I just, I recorded a bell in Minecraft. And then I just exported the audio file, and uh, and I and I ended up put and I ended up just using that as a sound effect. And uh, yeah, though though I I also have a few shortcuts to uh, applications that I use a lot. And uh, some shortcuts for uh, DaVinci Resolve. And, uh, and so really at this point, it's my stream deck is mostly just uh, being being used for shortcuts. But it's still uh, it, it, it it is kind of it is kind of a handy thing to have, especially. Especially as a content creator. And it's just one of those things you never really know you, and you never think you would need until uh, you actually uh, you actually get it. Though. So anyway, uh, this all I really have to talk about today, so thank you for watching, uh, this has been me, Dusty Circuit, here, and if you want, if you want to, uh, and remember to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and if you want to see my next videos, be sure to hit the bell for notifications. Peace out. Bye.